What's good guys, it's Joseph and today I have a shockwave tutorial and we're going to be doing that shockwave that you saw in my edit entitled Faded. It was that shockwave on the uh, B23R pistol in that edit that I did. Um, I'm going to show you guys really quick. It's right here. As you can see, as, as he shoots the gun, there's a flash, which is pretty much just exposure and glow. And then we have the shockwave, which is pretty much just a displacement map with the shockwave overlay pretty much on top of it that's all that's pretty much all we need for this tutorial um, someone asked me to do it it's really easy and so I just thought I'd do it you know I got time to do it might as well do it so all really all you need is clip I'm, I'm gonna just use a random clip from uh, um, what's that game called uh, infinite warfare I haven't really been playing it so I have no idea and I have a shockwave overlay and I have a bunch of them I'll probably put a little mini pack in the description so you guys can download that as well as the project file so you can follow along with the tutorial and then if this video hasn't gone up by the time I've hit 6,000 subscribers I'm really close to it and you know I want to thank you guys in, in advance for that it's pretty crazy it's a pretty big number for me obviously I've never had 6,000 subscribers before so it's always nice to see that number get higher and higher every day and you know um, I'm trying to think of something I can do for it. I don't really know what I can do. I've done editing contests. I've done packs. If you guys want more of those, I can obviously do that. If you guys have any other ideas, um, comment down below what you want to see for 6,000. So let's go ahead and get started with this tutorial. It's going to be pretty easy today. So step one is to get your clip, make a composition with it, and then uh, find where you want the shockwave to be. I'm not going to do the exposure flash because you guys should know how to do the exposure flash and then glow and then you know just pretty much put a keyframe at a high value for the flash and then have it go down and then let's just say I want the shock wave to be at this shot right here let's pretend I got everything synced up and then I want that shock wave to be right there so I'm going to go ahead and drag this shock wave in and obviously can't really see it there we go it's because it's, un it's under the clip so that's not really gonna matter I'm just gonna go ahead and shut it off what we're gonna want to do now is make a new adjustment layer by pressing control alt y or going to layer new and adjustment layer and then we're gonna go ahead and go into effects and presets and then type in displacement map it's not a third-party plugin so you should be you should have it and then it should be right here displacement map and then what you want to do displacement map layer change that from adjustment layer one to the shockwave layer so that's gonna pretty much you like use the shockwave to displace it and pretty much what I did I don't know if it's this is the like exact way to do it and I don't know what just popped up on my screen there but I kind of moved these around until I found something that worked for me. You can click wrap wrap pixels around and then drag it until you fit it into your scene, sort of, if that makes sense, until it looks normal. I'm just going to keep doing this and you know, dragging it. Okay, so I dragged it this way. And I pretty much just like kept dragging it until I found something that looked cool to me. So now if we see, if we move the shock wave, the displacement moves with it. And like I said, if it's kind of confusing, go ahead and rewatch what I did. So let's say I want the effect to start right here at this shot. What I would do is I would go onto the adjustment layer and uh, press Alt and then the left square bracket key right next to the P key on the keyboard. And then I'll move this shock wave to the very start of it. And so now we'd have no, we have no displacement. Shoots it. We got the shock wave. And that's pretty much it. And then if you wanted to make it go faster, you can like go into the shock wave and then enable time remapping on it. And then you can make like a keyframe here and then have it like go faster. Delete this keyframe. 
and then you can just like drag this wherever you want and then highlight all of them and then easy ease them and then go into that graph editor that we all know and love and make something cool and that's pretty much it and then it'll end and then no more displacement and that's pretty much it like honestly it's a really easy thing to do um, just in case you missed or you didn't see what I did I'll go ahead and do it again really quick um, pretty much just grab the shock wave and I'll have a pack of these in the description if you don't have any and it's right here it's an overlay too and you can just shut it off and then after you do that drag in the displacement map wait no after you do that make an adjustment layer on top of the clip and then go ahead and drag in a displacement map and then put the put the displace, displacement map layer to the shock wave and then you know wrap pixels around and then just move it over and then you can like move this up depending on what you want you can move this you can move it this way and then it looks fine like that and just make sure the the uh, clip fits on the screen well and if, it, if the edges are messed up on the top and the bottom you can always do like a uh, um, what's it called if you want a really strong one you can do that but you can always make some kind of um, a mask around it or put some black bars whatever you want really it doesn't matter too much and you know just have fun with it honestly you can do so much stuff or you can just leave it like this and have some kind of like weird trippy effect and put some more masks on it or something like that I have, I, don't, I don't know it's pretty much free for you guys to do whatever you want. Like this looks pretty weird compared to what I'd had the first time, but you get you get the overall idea of what I'm trying to do. See that there there it is. Like it looks better when it's like subtle and you can barely see it cuz then you can enhance it with other other things. So it's a pretty easy tutorial if you guys learned anything. You guys probably know how to use the displacement map better than I do, but I decided I would go ahead and do it. And um, anyways, thanks for 6,000 subscribers. I'm going to try to make a video for that and try to get some kind of free stuff out there for you guys because I know you guys love free stuff. Who doesn't? So if you guys have any questions, go ahead and comment down below or my DMs are open on Twitter. Um, other than that, if you guys have any uh, other questions, my email is in the description. Um, other than that, I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. I'm out. Peace.